Hey guys, welcome to the Kalmaka Museum at Home special edition tutorial on how to build your very own Batman Spotlight. Let's get started. This week is really exciting. It's the week of Comic-Con at home and make sure you guys check out the Cardboard Superheroes panel video. So Batman was recently inducted into the Comic-Con Museum Character Hall of Fame. And so we created the Batman Spotlight and this can also be seen on the Comic-Con Museum t-shirts. This Batman Spotlight comes with some special features to it. The arms can rotate and the head can rotate as well. This is all optional. And if you want to do this, you're going to need needles, toothpicks, and a flashlight. The first thing you want to do is print out the template and you want to make sure you cut out all the solid black lines and do not cut out the, uh, the dotted blue lines. These are the ones we're going to fold. So the Batman logo is actually really hard to cut. So I've actually separated into five pieces and we're gonna cut through these solid black lines right here and I'll show you how to do that. Now we're gonna tape these pieces onto your cardboard so you can get your Amazon cardboard box. And when you take these pieces, make sure to leave a little bit of space in between the pieces. Now that you've taped all of your pieces, you're ready to cut them out. Make sure after you cut them out, you leave the uh, labels on top of them. Now that you cut out all your pieces, you're going to want to get your two base pieces, your side pieces, there are four of them, and also your four corner pieces. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is get your four side pieces. And you're going to glue right here and attach it like so. And you're going to make sure you're going to do that with all four sides. Now that you've finished gluing, it should look something like this. And what you're gonna do is now get your base bottom piece and you're gonna glue it right along the perimeter of the square and you're gonna place this right on top. Now you're gonna get your base top piece and just like you did with the base bottom, you're gonna glue around the perimeter of the square and then place this right on top of the, this piece right here. Now that you've finished this piece, you're gonna to wanna to get your corner pieces. And as you can see, there's a dotted line right here, which means you have to fold it right there. And I recommend using your table for this part. Now that you folded all your corner pieces, you're gonna glue right on the back of it and you're gonna place it right on the corners of this piece right here. Your base should now look like this. Now you're gonna to wanna to get your base circle wrap piece, your base circle one piece, and also your C1 circle. And first you're gonna to wanna to get your base circle one and C1, and you're going to glue the small circle right in the middle of the baker circle. Once you've done that, you're going to get your base circle wrap, 
And this whole piece is gonna be curved around, so you wanna use your table for that. Now that you've curved your piece, you're gonna wrap this around your circle. And I recommend putting increments of glue along the circle and uh, gradually uh, connecting it around. Now that you've completed this piece, you're gonna glue along the bottom of here and you're gonna place this right in the middle of your base. It should now look like this. So you're gonna to wanna to get your two side arm one pieces and your bottom piece and also your top piece. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is get your side arm one piece and your top arm piece and you're gonna glue right on the bottom of the top arm piece, right here. And then you're gonna connect your uh, side arm piece right like so. So this should look something like this. Now your piece should look something like this and you're gonna get your bottom arm piece and you're gonna glue right along the two longest sides right here and you're gonna place this right on top of this piece like so. Now it should look something like this. All right, so now you're gonna get your four side arm two pieces your two arm wrap one pieces and your two arm wrap two pieces. And as you can see, the both arm wrap pieces have these dotted lines. So you're gonna fold right there and you can use your table for that. All right, now you can get your sidearm two piece and also your arm wrap one piece. And you're gonna wrap this around like so. So you're gonna get this part and you're gonna glue along right here and I glue this right on top and it's gonna wrap around like this. It should look something like this now. And what you're gonna do is get your arm wrap two pieces and you're gonna glue along here, and this is gonna fit right inside here, like so. Your piece should look like this right now, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and get this piece, and you're gonna attach it on, like so. So it's gonna look like a U, and you wanna glue right here. Here's what it looks like right now. And so something you can do uh, where I mentioned before with the toothpick and the needle, you can puncture a hole right here and you can also puncture a hole right here, place the toothpick in and you can attach it on like so. And here's an example. As you can see, there's a hole and there's a toothpick right here and you can place it on. That's how you get the uh, rotation. Otherwise you can just glue it on like, like this. Now you're gonna get your four circle back pieces. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue right here and you're gonna connect it, all four of them, to make a uh, complete circle, like so. And you're gonna glue right here. So now you're gonna get your four spotlight one pieces and also your four spotlight two pieces. And you're gonna to wanna to make these curved. And so you wanna curve it this way and you wanna use your table for that.
it should look like this right now. And now you're gonna get your spotlight two piece and you're also gonna curve it and you also wanna curve it this way. So now you can get your back circle piece. And as you can tell, there is a flat side and also a curved side. So you're also gonna get your larger rectangle and on the curved side, you're gonna glue this rectangle right onto here, like so. Don't worry, it's not a perfect fit. There's gonna be a little bit of overlap on the sides, but you just wanna center it as much as possible. All right, so now what you're going to do is get your smaller pieces and there's a gap right here. So you're gonna put this right on top to fill the gap and you're gonna glue it like so. And you're gonna do that for all four of them. All right, now your spotlight head should look something like this. And what you're gonna wanna do is get your two C2 circle pieces and you're gonna glue your circle piece right onto the smaller rectangle and you're gonna try to position it in the middle as much as possible. Once you glue this one on, you're gonna glue one, the other one right across from it right here. So now you can get your Batman piece, your Batman logo. And this one is going to, you're, you can separate each piece like this. So if you haven't figured it out already, this is how it should look after you've cut it out with cardboard. And what you're gonna wanna do is piece it all together and glue it into one bat, bat logo shape. The reason why we had the uh, uh, lines to separate these pieces is because this piece is very hard to cut. And now you can just glue them together and it'll form the whole bat logo. Now you have your bat logo, it should look something like this. And now you can also get your inside support piece. First thing you wanna do is you see these two little flaps right here. You're gonna fold these like so, and you're gonna glue right here, and you're gonna attach this piece right onto the bat, back of the bat uh, logo. And you wanna make sure this aligns, this line right here aligns right in the middle. Now your BATS uh, logo should look like this along with this piece right here. And what you're gonna do is get these flaps and you're gonna glue right here and you're gonna attach this right into your uh, uh, spotlight. And you wanna make sure these circles are on the side of the wings. Now you have your completed spotlight head. It looks really awesome, especially with the BAT logo inside. If you want to make this part rotate like so, what you're gonna wanna do is puncture holes right here with the needle. And you also wanna puncture holes right here. And then put a toothpick inside and you can just place this like so. If you don't wanna do that, you can just glue along, just uh, add two drops of glue, place it inside. And you just wanna make sure to angle it up a little bit. Great job guys, you have now completed your finished Batman Spotlight. Make sure you guys stay tuned because the museum will be posting one new model every Thursday for this entire summer. And if you guys like Batman, you have to check out next week's model. It's one of my personal favorites and see ya.